Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Today we're looking at a load of reprints that are coming out the Hyper Machine Road for Yuga. Full Meter Impact is a Fire Attribute Rock Type Level 7 with 2500 attack and 0 defense. Requirement, if this card was normal summon this turn and you control a face-up monster that's a level 7 or higher spellcaster, you can send this face-up card you control to the graveyard. The effect is to destroy all face-up monsters that are level 6 or higher your opponent controls. This seems like a decent effect, but it relies on taking out your opponent's highest level monsters, so if they've got effects that protect them from destruction, that's not going to be useful. It can also only use its effect on the turn that it was normal summoned, and you also have to have a level 7 or higher spellcaster type monster on the field to resolve this effect. There are quite a few conditions to relying on this, and maybe not the best strategy unless your opponent has nothing to respond to this with. Brave of Dawn Light Across is a light attribute warrior type level 7 with 2100 attack and 1500 defense. The requirement? You can shuffle two monsters that are spellcasters from your graveyard into the deck. The effect is to special summon up to two monsters that are level 5 or lower spellcasters, from your hand. This is a decent effect because you're shuffling two monsters that are spellcasters from the graveyard back into the deck, so it's a bit of a mini pot of avarice in order to summon it to weaker spellcaster monsters. It might not seem like that much, but those monsters can then be used for tribute summons, or they can be used just to adjust your field presence to give you that many more monsters. It's also decent, even though it's a level 7, it has a swarming effect to it. Evil Twilight Light Across is a Dark Attribute Warrior Type level 7, with 2100 attack and 1500 defense. Requirement, you can activate by shuffling a total of up to 2 monsters, warrior type and or spellcaster types, from your graveyard into the deck. The effect is to special summon one monster that's a level 6 warrior type or spellcaster type from your hand face up. This again has a pot of avarice effect in turn working with both warrior types and spellcasters back to the deck. The effect to be able to special summon either a warrior or a spellcaster is fine, but it has to be uniquely level 6. It's not a range of levels than the other Brave of Monster. This is the massive downside, and I would argue this is the worst version. Bascule, the Moving Fortress, is an Earth Attribute Machine type level 7 with 0 attack and 2500 defense. Requirement? During the turn this card was normal summoned, you can send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. The effect is to change this card's battle position, attack position becomes face up defense position, and defense position becomes face up attack position. Then you can choose one normal monster, it's an earth attribute in your graveyard, and special summon it to your field face up. This is a very unusual card, it's very bulky on the defensive side, but it's got zero attack points. It's fine for an effect because actually if you normal summon it, in attack position, it just goes to defense mode, and you're able to revive an earth attribute monster that adds to your field presence. My only concern is the three cards that you send from the top of the deck to the graveyard it might be ones that you might not be able to recover, or ones that you might need for a specific situation that you're no longer able to access without drawing further into your deck. Neckmade Nana is a light attribute zombie type level 5 with 1100 attack and 700 defense. The requirement? You can send this face-up card you control to the graveyard, and the effect is to choose one monster, it must be a level 7 in your graveyard, place it on the bottom of the deck, and then draw two cards. I think this effect is okay, because you are just getting rid of this card, and then you're able to recover a level 7 to the bottom of the deck and draw two cards. It does put the level 7 at the very bottom, so unless you've got cards that can shackle your deck, you're not going to be able to access that level 7 monster anytime soon. But being able to draw those two additional cards, especially with this card being very weak, it's decent, even though it's not, it's it's going as a net zero, it's neither a plus nor a minus, because you have to tribute a monster to bring this card out, and you, then you have to get rid of this card to draw the two cards, so it breaks even, even though you don't have any field presence. It also has only 1100 attack, why on earth would you want it for defending your life points? Magic Backflow is a normal spell card with the requirement if you control a face up monster at level 7 or higher spellcaster, send one monster, it must be a water attribute from your hand to the graveyard. The effect is to choose one monster your opponent controls and return it to the owner's hand. So this acts like a compulsory evacuation device 
but it only activates during your turn and not your opponent's because compulsory evacuation device CED is a trap card. The condition of this card is quite specific because you do have to send a loot from your hand to the graveyard. There are examples of that Yuga does use. But you also have to have a level 7 or higher spellcaster such as Road Magician. And the final card is Type Change Blaster. This card basically gives you the ability to change up to three monsters on the field into a single type. It's a decent effect if you rely on that type of thing but I think it only affects your opponent's monsters and so you don't have the option. It's fine if you have specific cards that for example, destroy everything of that type. But unless you've got cards in conjunction with this, then it might not be worthwhile running. Overall, I think the cards being introduced within this set are fine. I do like the first monster that I was introduced to before that can actually wipe out all your opponent's monsters. It just can still be quite situational because you do need a level seven spellcaster type on the field to activate that effect. And you do have to get rid of it as part of the cost. Whatever you think, whichever your cards that you like from this set, are please put those in the comments down below and make sure to check out this video on the end screen to continue supporting my channel thank you